just the photographer. Big easy. What does that even mean anyway? There's nothing easy about this place. Especially trying to make a paddleboard look sexy on Bourbon Street in 40 degree weather on a Friday night. Like everywhere right now, times are tough. But the two guys I'm meeting are probably the hardest working guys I know. They live in the city, but they make their living about an hour away where they grew up. Two places, two brothers, two colors. Meet Michael and Stephen Furnett, a.k.a. Red and Brown. So, Sean, what brings you back to New Orleans? And then I'll tell you what brings us back. You. Come you. On. Full transparency. I, I make up shoots so that I get to hang out with you guys. Nice. That's, that's, <laughs> look, as you grow up, you learn that it's a unique place. But growing up here, it's just so normal and everyone's so friendly. You know, our business is way down on the coast, but New Orleans is still such a big part of our life. I mean, it's a small town, but it I is. think You're right. most You're people right. come here, they, it, it's Bourbon Street and, you know, Cafe Du Monde, which is completely rad, but this is, this definitely is like more the local, local hangout. Local yeah, hangout. for sure. <laughs> and, Absolutely and look, not. Cafe Du Monde and Mardi Gras are part of it too. They're dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah for that's, sure. That's, yeah. that's all a part of New Orleans, and you could argue Venice is half of our life, and the other half is right here in New Orleans, and this is where we where our family is, this is where our friends are, this is where our house is. This we come is... to kick it and get away from work and chill. Yeah, you know? so so we we make our living on the coast. This isn't a chill spot, is it? Yeah, it's a chill spot. It's, what do you it's mean? pretty full throttle. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, to you, you're always full throttle. It don't matter this what you do. This is our chill spot. Yeah, right. right. This is where we do. This is our chill spot. <laughs> it's time to get some work done. So we head to the busiest street in the city for a photo shoot. It was freezing, but that didn't deter anyone from coming out to party. People are obviously used to seeing a lot of weird stuff here. We spent an hour holding a 12 foot paddleboard in the middle of the street and no one even noticed. The boys tell me they're taking me to one of the best barbecue spots in the city. I've never been to New Orleans with you guys, only right. Venice. So give me just the quick rundown of like growing up here and kind of segueing into Venice, how that whole thing work out. So, I mean, Venice in itself and a lot of families that live on the coast are from New Orleans or other cities just around New Orleans and have to make that commute back and forth, whether it be due to educational reasons, because they got kids and want to send them to a better school than they have, you know, on any part of the coast. For us, it was just dad was a charter fisherman already in the marina, and that was our tie back and forth from Venice was we had to stay in town and go to school and whatnot and dad was always down there so more or less we were there on the weekends time off and i don't know live more in the city we spend more nights in venice but our addresses are on you know when our ids are in the city even to this day we live in venice more the community of venice the people that live there day in day out are still not even red and brown right mm -mm. you know we're from venice and we're born and raised there and we have venice in our blood and we you know spend most of our time there but that's different than the true community of Venice that is born, raised, right. and stays there. The shrimpers. Mm -hmm. So whether it be the, the, the common ground is right. Is the oil field workers, the shrimpers, the crabbers, commercial fishermen, yeah. the commercial fishermen, the recreational <laughs> guide kind. fishermen. Mm -hmm. Most of us live in the New Orleans surrounding area and make that commute, whether it be daily or you know back and forth every, every week or yeah. whenever you're busy, but. The reality of it is, is a lot of the people that make their living or enjoy the coastline just for fun, live in the, live city, in the city, just like us. 
Man, they weren't lying. That was the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. Hey, thank y'all. Right, thank y'all. Have a good one. Thank y'all, man. We're right there one spot all day. The next morning, we head down to the place where the boys make their living. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust this is my friend or my fault. I'm a f ex bro. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one understands me. I'm good at all this silly, I'm about to ban me. Baby, see yellow text. She wanna eat me like candy. Run up the racks, track me. Uh, I'll run up the racks like an athlete. Big facts, you're at the dick, six flags. Ballin' like, dick flags, told her I love her. I ain't really mean that, yeah. They run the Redfish Lodge with their parents, Michael and Lori. Clients stay here and are guided on hunting and fishing trips. Today, the boys are taking me on a duck hunt. Now, how we hunt out of these is hunting the bank, okay? And the bank is lined by trees and bushes and stuff. So we pull the lono in, or we pull the, the rack of man, and break it all as soon over. as we get deep enough into the canes and the bushes, we break the bushes, you know, at eye level to where we That's can hide the lono and see. Uh, yeah. and see. Exactly. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I thought you'd like this. I love how excited you are when it hadn't even started yet, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> he might. Look at this little garage. Radical. Yeah. Okay, hold on, should I pop this out now, Rick? That's what I'm talking about. So generally, it's not this windy. You know, I mean, this is about as windy as it gets in our hunts. So, like, you can actually see a bunch of ducks getting up way, there, way out there. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of times oh, those yeah. ducks will get up and they'll turn and they'll fly straight in this more protected water. So you got to be able to spot them from far away and kind of figure out which way they're coming. They're coming. They're, they're coming, coming at us. They're coming. They're coming at us. They're coming. Here they come. 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 The question is, Dad, did you ever love it as much as you see us loving duck hunting? Yeah, I would have to say yeah, I did. It a used to be a lot soft, harder. A lot, a lot harder. A lot harder. They didn't have mud boats. Didn't have boat. We didn't have air boats. Okay. We didn't. Have, we had p robes. Right. <laughs> and, it, and it was work. It was nothing but work. I mean, this looks like a lot of work to me. Like this, this is nothing. This, this is nothing. This is Cadillac really? right, right here. This, the assumption is, of course, at least in people in our generation and kids younger than us is the fact that if you hunted back when you were a kid, it was easy because they had so many more birds. And nowadays it's, you know, so many more people and less birds. So is, is that just a, a misperception when really back then you had a lot of birds, but you just had to work two and three times harder to get them? No, there was a lot more birds than there is now. There was a lot more land than there is now. That doesn't take but away how hard it is to work. No, it was, no, it doesn't take away from the work, but there was still a lot more birds than there is now. Now there's a lot, a lot more people that are hunting sort of say and the problem that the younger generation your generation and the people coming up behind you there's less land available to go hunting especially in Louisiana everybody is buying up land and making it privatized it's a lot more difficult to find your hunting spot these days 
than it was back then because of a, the loss of wetland, especially on public land, on the refuges. There's nothing more that I've enjoyed watching you boys grow up and being part of what was a big part or is a big part of my life, but watching you boys enjoy and get into it as much as I did and as much as I still do. To me, being in the outdoors is, is, I don't know, I don't care what you're doing, what you're hunting, whether it's the ducks, whether it's geese, whether it's rabbits, whether it's quail, whether it's deer, whether you're going fishing or whatever. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it, it's special. I think it take, I think it makes, if everybody did it, we'd have a better world, I can say that. Not ours, maybe, maybe we'd be out of ducks and fish. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty clear we weren't just hunting for dinner. It was a dad and his two sons doing something they love. This family gets what's important. Not a lot of people can say that. It was time to get on some fish. If I could put venison in one word, I'd definitely say it's different. Nowhere like it, that's for sure. Y'all trying to compare normals over here? Yeah, something like that. Try to give Venice one word. What would you say it is? Unique. Yeah. It's, it's unique, man. You can travel the world and see a bunch of crazy cool stuff. And uh, this is just an, another one of those same deals. It's just different. Yeah. Different in a lot of ways. Yeah. I mean, I would almost say freakish. Freakish? To me, because I come down here and it's- The lay of the land's freakish? Well, the people, the lay of the land, the, the industries that are here yeah. it, on this strange peninsula. You know what I mean? Like if I, yeah, oh, if I didn't know you guys, no, I rolled up in a boat to that- to I that, might look at you funny. You'd look at me funny. Everybody would be like, who's <laughs> this dude? It's just, it's a small community and it's a, everybody that works, I mean, lives in it, works hard. Everybody great, lives right? off the land here one way or the other. A lot of people are different, but... In some way, shape, or form, we all end up helping one another. In one way, shape, or form, we're all the same, mm -hmm. you know? We're all busting our ass to just try to make a living and make it. That's it. Ain't hey, none of us, no matter what you do down here, is better than the other, period. It's just, you grow up knowing what you know, and, and you take pride in the, in the trade that you have, and the, in the... And roll what, with it. Yeah, and the way you were, <laughs> you were taught and raised to do that, and... That's what we do, and that's what just about everybody does down here. So when somebody comes in from out of state and they're having fun, it's hard for them not to look up from a hard day's work and notice, noticing you kind of kicking it a little, you know? I gotta that's go all. save that board. <laughs> let's go fish, man. Yeah, let's go catch them. What the hell they're fishing? You see that? They just got a damn sideways shrimp on a jig head. What the hell y'all doing? I'm about to catch dinner, bro. But they, they've been stacked up in here, Sean. And they only stack up in here for about a month, maybe two months a year. The other 10 months it just sucks right here. So much river flow. Oh, son! Oh, red, 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 red got one, red got one, red got one! Yeah, red! Oh, son, this is gonna be a little nice. We got a keeper? He might just be keep, bro. Oh, he's gonna keep right there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That'll go 16 inches easy. Yes, sir. Ooh, they look small compared to those big ones we're gonna go try to catch, but 16 and a half, almost 17 inch redfish are delicious. Yes, sir. I need to get my rod in. Fishing is literally my favorite thing to do in the world. Oh. And here I am, oh, sitting on the bank with a jacked up arm, watching everyone bow up. Hey, that's a good one, dude. Good. He got me doing a 360 wobbly. And the humor of it is not lost on them. Sean. 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 Where'd he go, bro? Sean. I'm right here. Sean. <laughs> Sean. We finally got him, bro. He don't want to catch him. Big Red. Woo! 
Yeah! Come here, little buddy. How's it going? That right there. That's why we're here, Sean. Yeah, buddy. What you think, brother? That's a beautiful fish. You ain't got to make it out. You got no spot on this side. You got no spot? No. We had Sean! 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 Where did he go? Throw him in a box. I'm gonna let this one go for another day, huh? You keeping that one, Red? Yeah, let's try to get a couple more real quick while they're biting. I, I know you're sick sitting on those rocks watching this, dude. Look at uh, him. He's pouting like he a little looked, kid. He got he his arms sick, folded. Like pouty it's and killing like me. I don't want to go to school. This is killing me. I don't want to like go to school. Like, you're my pond, and I'm looking at you up on the rocks thinking, man, my buddy's pissed. Yeah. Look at him. He's got his arms folded. Knee cranked out. And let me tell you, that killed me watching you guys out there. Yeah, well, at least we was able to get you some dinner, even though so you didn't we, need to catch now. All right, so we got dinner now. It kills me more to have you sit on the rocks right. and watch us do it, dude. You come down here to hang out with us. You make just enough time to chill. And then we got to watch, put you on the rocks and watch That's us all right. catch them and you do nothing. That's all right. Next time, dude. Just uh, I won't hurt myself anymore, and then I'll be able to fish here in about Yeah, eight. but I mean, the day's not over. You want to get out there and try to see if we could get a big one? Do you think I could? Yeah, let's do it. What are you thinking now? I don't know, jump back to the other side of the river and see if we can't go catch a big one. Okay. Well, the weather's just nice enough. I mean, right. you think we can maybe like hold the rod while you reel one in? You wanna try? I mean, we gotta get you on something, bro. We hit a spot where all the big reds tend to hang out. Found Sean, Red. We found, yeah, we found him. But in true TV fashion, we haven't even gotten a bite. It was maddening. Like, we need one soon. We gotta go. I don't know where, but this ain't working. Boys, you're gonna have to be my arm today. Alrighty. Have you ever been someone's right arm? Shit can get really <laughs> weird. I was trying to think for a second. I'm like, I don't think I've ever had to be anybody's arm. My right arm is used to doing unusual things. Red will be all But over today, that, you're going to be my right arm. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, no. Whoever hooks a fish, I'll give you $200 cash right now. I'm not yeah. even kidding. Oh, let me try harder. Yeah. Yeah, hold, oh, well, hold, well, hold up then. That really changes oh, it. Oh, Got one? Yep. All right, there we go, Yeah, it's Brown. a big ass shark. Get it, Brown's though. got one, get on. Devin's got a shark. All right, for the sun go. We got something on, fellas. Go, baby, go! Hey, redfish, bro. Might be, right? Is it the red assassin? I'm not sure. Is it the red assassin? I think it just might be. The Come assassin? <laughs> I think it oh, might be. You about to see an explosion. The assassin. Come on. Right Don't be a beater. No, that ain't a beater and you know it. It's the assassin. Yeah, come on. I saw something red, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> no, come oh, on. Man. Here it comes. It's Here the it comes. assassin. Come on. Come. It's about to. It's a. Yes! Oh! No! No! Was it the assassin? It was the assassin. Oh my. Burger, you suck. We make our living working every single day and, and the perception of having a family business and spending so much time with your family. People think we, we're, we get to hang out and enjoy ourselves every single day, but we work so hard that even though we're with each other every single day, we don't get to enjoy this ourselves. And to take a second and go catch a couple keepers on the boards by ourselves and bring Sean along and not teach him much, but just... There he is. Sean, where are you? Sean! There he is again. There he is. Yeah, he's always popping in the house all day. 
but seriously, dude, thanks for coming down and thanks. just just seeing the Thank side you. side of us that we don't get to enjoy ourselves every day like we like to. We're good at at, at putting on our show and and being good guys at the Redfish Lodge in Louisiana and, and making sure our clients enjoy it. But on good years, we work so hard that we don't get to take the time to enjoy it ourselves and we get buddies like you to, to come down and kick it, bro. In the last few days. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. And thank you. Thank all of you guys for, uh, for, for showing the world what we do and giving us a chance to show the world what y'all do. And it's... Uh, it's badass. Thank you. Yeah. This family treated me like gold. It was time for me to give a little something back. You ready? Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. Come on. Come on. Oh no! Oh my God! Yes! No, you didn't. You did. You crazy? You crazy? You ain't right. What's up? So, who's this? <laughs> You're with me forever. Huh? That's no, it, we're, we're, we're with, with him forever. forever. Yeah. <laughs> You've kept this on you all week and didn't Yeah, for me? a week. That is just too dirty. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to really comment on that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many television shows I've done over my career, and ain't nobody put my tattoo on. Brown, get in there. I'll put That's you, you I'll, Hey, <laughs> Mr. Mike, I'll put yeah, your yeah, face yeah, right here. Mr. Mike, I gotta show you something. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I lost a bet or something. Even better, <laughs> to, to yourself. What a wacko. <laughs> All right. I felt like I had to turn my hat around just for the picture. Oh my God, dude, I did not think it's... <laughs> That's about the last usable space on my body for <laughs> tattoos, too. I literally don't well, have yeah, any You got more. this whole thing just done. Everything's huh? done. Oh, Lord. Good guess, man. <laughs>